Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Ted. And this is King's Gun Center TV. Hi, today we're going to be talking about a new arrival that we got into the store. It's the Kalashnikov USA Cali 9. But if you guys do like our content, please like and subscribe down at the bottom. Thank you. So, super excited for this gun. Yes, it's been around for a while, but those of you that know us here in California, it's hard for us to get things. So we're pretty excited when this came through. Got an opportunity, or we're gonna get an opportunity to sh shoot it today. Um, but first, what are your initial thoughts of this gun? Well, um, more of an AR guy, but I've heard some good reviews on this one. Uh, AK platform, shoots in a 9 mil. I have shot the Palmetto State Army AKV. Let's see how this one compares to that one. How'd you like that one? It was pretty good. Now, uh, was that a California version that you shot, or was it the, uh, the no, way it, it, it was, was intended in to be? The way it was intended to be in Arizona. <laughs> so, yeah, right on. I, I, I wish I could shoot something like that, but what I really liked about this one is it had some, uh, I mean, being that it's California, we have to deal with certain things, fixed magazine, 16-inch barrel, those kind of things. But... I like that they kind of address some of the issues. So we have the fin grip, but they have that little ledge right there for your thumb, which makes it kind of nice to handle. Yeah, pretty nice to handle, I think. Uh, don't know yet until we get a little test fire. Um, again, I'm not used to shooting it with the fin. Yeah. I shoot my stuff pretty constitutional, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, just a note too, uh, some of the viewers may be looking at the magazine thinking, wow, they got a 30 round. This is one of the 1030s. So what it is, is it's got a block in there and you're only allowed to put 10 rounds in there because here in California, that's the most we're allowed to have. And uh, this is not a suppressor. This is mainly for aesthetic looks to make it look cooler. Um, what ex Basically, extends the barrel just a little bit. Yeah, so the barrel does extend out and it's got a fake suppressor shroud so that you just don't have a thin long barrel on there. So. It, it, it does look pretty cool, to be honest with you, but I'm sure the one that you shot was what cut off about right about there. Right here with the muzzle device. Uh, I think it was a muzzle brake, yeah. Oh man, I wish I could, but I am still very excited for this. Kalashnikov USA has a really good rep. Um, a lot of the times their stuff is pretty back ordered. So uh, with us getting this from one of our distributors, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to start getting them more often and we're gonna start seeing them a little bit more. So um, with that said, uh, <laughs> I think it's time for us to go in there and. Shoot some rounds to this thing. What do you think? I have a sudden urge to have a Russian vodka in my hand while holding this. <laughs> yeah, uh, I could dig that. All right, well, let's go. Alrighty, uh, Kalashnikov, Cali 9, USA. Let's see how this goes. Pretty smooth. However, the sights are a little bit low, but yeah, pretty smooth. All right, Kalashnikov USA Cali 9, 10 rounder, well, one of the 1030s that they ship with it. California legal. So make sure that we get it seated properly. Charged up. Safety's on, magazine's out. Very nice shooting gun, very nice. Little to no recoil on that sucker. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to have a, uh, I don't wanna say a little issue, just gonna have to get this sight figured out right there. It's, it's not like an AK or an AR at all, but very nice shooting gun. Definitely want one. All right, well, back from the range. Uh, kind of mixed feelings. Uh, well, I kind of let you go with it first. What do you think? Um, yeah, mixed feelings on it. Uh, the first thing I like to point out is mainly the stock, how uncomfortable it was. Uh, pure metal. 
it was me, I'll put some some sort of like cushion back here and right up here for the cheek rise. It actually sits lower to where it's difficult to see the sights. And I have heard with these um, open stocks for AKs, it is kind of hard to see the sights. Iron sights was really hard to pick out. Um, you can yes, I right? totally co-sign that. And I, I agree with you on the stock as well. I, I get the application in a ideal situation. You would be able to collapse it and having it as thin as possible, you know, helps for that. But you know, we are having to deal with what we have to deal with. At least we can still get it this way. Yeah, you yeah. know, I, I could definitely, a riser and something a little bit more comfortable would be nice. Mm -hmm. And those sites are something to get used to. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't say that they're bad, but I think both of us are more used to shooting our ARs. So yeah. having to go with this one, it, it's, it's a little bit of a learning curve, mm -hmm. I'll say. It was pretty smooth to shoot, little to no recoil. It was like um, shooting a 22, a Ruger 1022. Yes. The yeah. biggest issue I had was mainly the magazine. Um, I don't know if it was just uh, trying to break it in or just how it is. It was trying to really hard to feed it in where I had to cut. Really had to smack it in there pretty hard. Yeah, you really have to seat that sucker in there well, or it's just not going to catch. So you know those people used to AKs, you know, really slamming them in, you know. This is pretty spot on with that. You really got to give it a love tap to make sure it's seated properly. But other than that, I mean, I would, like to would run, you buy one? I would like to run about 2,000 rounds more to see how it really is. But yes. so far, initial impressions, yeah. One magazine is kind of hard to do, you know, an official review. But if I had the opportunity, if we get another one through the store, I'd definitely like to get my hands on one. Once again, thank you. I'm Alex. I'm Ted. And thank you for watching Keen's Gun Center TV. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>